Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my season four. That's right, the new season, the new goblin patch of Battle Brothers. This is episode two. In the last episode, we invented, we created, we developed, we named pretty much everybody in the Murder of Bros Mercenary Company. So, that being said, we have a lot of origin stories to read and, well, we need to do some uh, travelation as well. That being said, we're going to head up to Einstein, or Einstein, if you will, and hopefully we make it there. If not, well, I'm okay with that. I will flee like a scared little girl and run to another town if I have to. I'm very, very, very ridiculously hesitant and terrified to run into the goblins. Every single time I have battled them in the past, it has been an absolute disaster. They are nearly impossible to track down. I I would probably advise you getting a little bit further along in the game before... Oh, God! Oh, for the love of Jiminy Cricket! No, don't chase me down! Save me, Tom Cruise! Okay. Looks like we might get away, though I'm terrified, as I've stated in the past. Yeah, goblins, not super fun people to deal with. And apparently they run way quicker than we do on a ground. Ugh... Okay, so if we can continue to outrun them, I will be exceptionally happy. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Do not want to fight them right now. It will end in our all immediate deaths. They are a horrifying faction. They are really, really, really difficult to deal with. And yeah, I don't like them. So until I have like, um, I don't know, um, Megatron armor and I'm able to just go step on them with like, a giant transformer, I really don't want to deal with them for a little while. You would think that goblins would be like the weaker, dumber, lamer versions of orcs, but apparently that's not the case. They are like orcs on steroids with brains, and it's kind of worrying, to say the least. Alright. Excalibur now gets a short sword. And that is a step up from, or from him for him. And wasn't... Yeah, the Daytailer was actually pretty decent, too. I don't mind him having... Uh, I'm okay with him having a, a ranged stabby-stabby poke-poke weapon. That's okay for me. Alright, I think we should leave this depressing area. And again, we're going to try very hard to retreat like a scared little girl. We're going to take a look at what's here. Yeah, we're not protecting any caravans with the goblins around. And me... Maybe we can raise some some uh, ruins. Eh. All right, I'm not sure how this is going to go. Gosh, they're getting closer. All right, can we outrun them? That is the question. Well, it looks like we're gonna certainly try. Oh gosh, they seem to be faster than we are. Oh, oh good, they broke up. Oh gosh, no! <laughs> Just can't get a break. Alright, well, it looks like we're going to do battle with some bandits. At least they're mostly thugs. There are still a few archers. So, I don't know. I feel like we're still way underpowered and we shouldn't be doing this. Honestly. Ah, this is not great. Alright, what I'm going to do is... See, if we back up here, that means the archers all get a free ride. There it is, guys. There's the new music from Breakdown Epiphanies. Bum, 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 bum. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. So it's something different. We are outnumbered, sort of. Let's see, two, four, six, eight. So we actually see all eight of them. I'm still okay with backing up a little bit and trying to make our our stand against them back here. Again, I'm not sure. We do have the advantage of having the pitchfork people. But we have to survive in order to utilize the pitchfork people. And I'm not so certain we can actually do that right now. But we're going to hope. We have high hopes that we're going to be able to actually utilize pitchforkians. And kaborkians and all sorts of things like that. Though it remains to be seen. We shall see what remains. Wait, what? I, I don't know. I, I was going somewhere and then I totally lost it. It's fine. All right, retreat, run like the wind, bearded man, run like the wind. Emmertio. All right, the forlorn hope. All right, we're going to come back down over here. And we're going to see what's next. 
And I woke up today, and I swear, I, I, I apparently can't sit or sleep well, guys. That's apparently my two greatest weaknesses. Because uh, I know I was saying something about my back hurting about a week ago or something along those lines. And it still hasn't fully recovered, but yeah, whatever. It's okay. My back hurts a little bit more today than it did yesterday. But again, we're, I'm on the road to recovery. It's not that big of an issue. However, the biggest problem was uh, when I woke up today, my neck hurts. If I look to the left, it's like I have a, a pinched nerve or like, I don't know. Something's just not, a, I, don't, I don't know what it is. It's just a, it's a slight stabbing pain. That's fine. It's probably all these knife fights I've gotten into with the battle brohemes over the course of this so far. I'm probably going to take to the high ground, but I don't know yet. I might just go for the double shot if we have one out in the open. Good, he couldn't fire on us. That's excellent. He could not loose his arrows and try to murder us. This dude's like, alright, no more running. Okay, well, he survived that. 75%? Yeah! What? Okay. That dude with that hair. We missed. 63%. Got him. Alright, we now are tied on numbers. Woohoo! Alright, 59%. We got this. That's right, we're inspired by the music, folks. Inspired by the music. Eh. Uh, we need more dead. We're gonna have to take some risks. Risks. There it is. Gonna try to hold the line here. Gonna wait. 45% chance. Eh, maybe. We're gonna take to the high ground. Alright, the cross booming has moved forward. Things are looking a little bit scary. I wouldn't say we should be terrified just yet, but a little concerned maybe. We'll just let him rest for right now. Oh, the fallback. Ah, you guys are, are questioning walking into our line. Ooh, that wasn't pleasant. Ah. Hmm. Well. Move forward. We're going to use our shield. And hopefully it does some work. Fortunately, I don't have a move against anyone with this guy. Hmm. Eh, 53. Nope. Alright, we'll move in a little bit deeper. Yeah, we're gonna go for... This guy's got lighter armor, so... There it is. Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. Give me back the all-melee forces. Oh, what the heck was that? That was awful. Yeah, do it again, do it again, do it again. Oh, you... All right, we'll see what we can do with you in a minute. Please remove his head. Well, you hurt him a lot. That's almost the same as removing his head. There we go. Run like the wind, Binky. Oh, yes. Yes, I couldn't have gone better. <laughs> that was so good. Oh, what? Look at our archers hitting stuff. Oh, my gosh. This dude's like, I'm not running. This bandana don't run. If you ain't got buns, huh? No, that's something else. Alright, let's see here. Um, you're dead. And that made me pretty happy. Um, can we pin you? No. We can kill you. That's something. Alright, what about you? Eh, you're just like one step away from us being able to do anything. Oh, and you're the same exact way. No! Count your lucky stars, Mr. Excalibur. Count your lucky stars that you survived that horrible, horrible shot. Alright, now, yeah, they're more than likely going to run screaming in panic and terror as we try to charge them down. Uh, well, one day we'll have war dogs. One day we'll be able to afford them. But for now, we're just going to probably have to let these guys go. I really was hoping to capture the, the guy down at the bottom there because he's got a long bow and that would make my life slightly better. I wouldn't say so much easier, but slightly better. It would be a slight improvement. I mean, there is still the potential that they can just try kiting us and killing us. Though it doesn't appear like that is 
probably going to happen. Though he moved an odd way. Usually they just back straight up from us, so who knows. No. Oh, oh, he didn't go very far, but maybe that's because of the terrain change. I think he's out. Nope, he's not out yet. Alright. He did a pretty darn good job of hiding there, though. I'll tell him to his face that he is really, really good at manhunt or hide-and-seek. Kudos to him. Stop! Your shoe, your bootlace is untied! <laughs> Can't I just, like, get over here? Throw a little scorpion in there? No? Nothing? Why did they have to be so much faster than all of us? It's not fair. It's not fair they're outmaneuvering us like we're nothing. Alright, he's escaped. That makes me super sad. Alright, well, I guess they've run their course. Pretty sure we're not going to be able to catch them with, with uh, Big Beard McGee over here or anyone. Oh, Antros, if only you're an Olympic runner, we could catch this guy. But nope. Well, we gave it our best. He's going to escape in probably what, two more turns. Alright, here's something else that you guys may not have noticed, but they've increased the speed between each character's turn. So watch, I'll just, I'm going to spam F because I know I'm not going to be able to catch the guy. So boom, boom. Now when it has to move the camera, obviously it's a little bit longer, but all three of these guys, that was really, really quick. It would have taken me two to three times as long before this patch to actually end all of their turns. So spamming wait or spamming um, the end turn button is definitely quicker and more effective than ever. Alright, there it is. Well, we weren't able to kill those two guys, but we got out, we survived, several of us are still wounded, but we didn't die, and that's super important. We got a new uh, Red Baron hat, I like it. Another spear, pretty good. Pretty good, um, nothing super great, but the spear's pretty good. I'll take it. Aw, we didn't get any money. Alright, so remember when I was telling you before, every single fight, apparently the archers have all the cash, so. <clears throat> and we lived, by the way. I don't know if I pointed that out, but it was looking pretty bad as I fled for my life. Like a, again, a scared little woman. I ran and screamed, and I think I might have even squealed a little bit. I'm sorry about that, but <clears throat> yeah. Hey, that's where the ruins are, and it's challenging, and I am not really all about the challenge right now. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to have some serious 3-2-2 thrown at us. That's not going to be pleasant. You guys can laugh at me and mock me openly, but... The developers are like, oh, you don't like the 3-2-2? Deal with it. Now that's all you get. So we're going to go with one into our wonderful, wonderful melee skill, which is going to be two. We're going to put two points into this because, again, the game hates us. And we want a little bit more HP because apparently we're getting hurt pretty badly. And there it is, guys, the 3-2-2. And for those of you who don't know what 3-2-2 is, um, I don't remember the specific player, but the team was Rock's Kiss. I know it sounds weird. But it was a Dota 2 team, and they were already guaranteed a position in a tournament. And I believe the opponents they were against were also guaranteed, but they could have placed higher or something. It, anyway, it didn't matter. But they were already guaranteed in the like upper bracket or the, the people that actually get to go to the LAN event. Um, and one guy decided to bet against his team, and they threw the game. And all that he ended up winning was $322, because there was some online betting site that you could do that with real money. And, well, obviously it was ended up being found out, and he pretty much got banned from any more professional Dota 2, blah, 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 blah. So, 322, that's what it's all about, throwing the game intentionally. So it doesn't really apply to Battle Brothers, but still, it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. So it's like Battle Brothers, or, uh, the Overhype Studios guys are like, hey, you know what? You could win, but instead we're going to give you the lowest possible stat gain in the entire game just to make you suffer. But no, uh, they have plans to actually change out how the perk system works. And they said that the static uh, stat upgrade is for that reason. And they'll explain it later on when it comes out. All right, well, we're probably going to drop the quest that we have because we're far too weak to deal with it. We're going to take a peek over here. I suppose I could have repaired some stuff, but eh, 
I'm not gonna repair this or this. These are both pretty, pretty weak things. I'll get rid of the cleaver. I'll get rid of the reinforced wooden flail. Probably, maybe not. I'll get rid of the bludgeon. How's that? We have another one that we can eventually repair. We have a spear that we can eventually repair, and we have one of these that we can also get rid of, which is pretty cool. Alright, some padded leather. Eh, I don't know if it's worth it. Let's see who we have available to us first, before we go and spend any more of our money that we're going to desperately need. Alright, we have Sir Roderick. We have Hans. Alright, we have several people here. Uh, I want I want Wernhard the Arrow Maker. Uh, I don't have enough money for him. It's not nice. Alright, well, since this all kind of stinks, we're going to get rid of... I always do the wrong one. There it is. Uh, we're going to get rid of this one. Break and remove. Alright, what do we have here? We have raise the blood cleavers den. That sounds like that's going to be even worse or more challenging. And reach out. 435, yeah, well, I mean, as, as dangerous as the roads are, I think that might actually be viable. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to leave all of you here. Hey, we have a historian in the in the uh, mix here. Well, I really wanted to grab this bowyer here, but it's not going to happen. Well, we managed the fight. All right, Aoun's all the way at the bottom, right? Aoun, Aoun. That means we have to go back near this horrible, horrible, awful, awful place. Um... Well, I guess we head back to Einstein. And we hope that we don't get jumped again, because, again, we need a time to recover. Additionally, we can probably repair some of this stuff. I don't see why not. That might work. Alright, as we creep along the world map... By the way, the world map seems smoother, faster, I mean, quicker response, I mean, everything. Like, they've improved the game in pretty much every aspect. So shout out to Kristoff for all of his hard work at the coding and everything else that must have gone into this. Uh, yeah, I mean, the game is all over the place better in every single way. So I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. It's definitely more challenging and more difficult. Now, I don't know about that part that I like or don't like, but I know there's a goblin group waiting to eat my soul over there. So what is going to be our quickest way to Aoun? Well, I suppose if we go this way, we cut across probably the fastest path, but is it the path of least resistance? I don't know. I think we're going to give this little patch of, of forest a, a little bit more of a wide berth because we're terrified of what may or may not befall us there. And it also seems as though I could be wrong, but it looks like the tools are a bit more efficient or effective than they used to be. I don't remember reading that, and I could be totally wrong, but... Looks like it only took one tool, two tools, to get all three of those other weapons up and running. So, again, I'm not... Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. No, 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 no. That's going to have patrols. Dude. Follow my lead. Get the heck away from that place. Is that the Rorox? Or is that a K? I can't tell. It looks like an R. Rotox? It's the Rotox Grub. It's a deadly goblin den. Yeah, I definitely don't want to go play with those guys. I know you guys are probably like, oh, I want to see the goblins. Not right now you don't. Trust me, you do not. They are lethal. They are like fallen heroes and lost spirits on steroids with um, machine guns. It's not pleasant. You do not want to run into those things at all. Of this, I can assure you, it is horrifying. Absolutely horrifying. Um, though I will say the only times I've ever... Uh, sorry. <laughs> the only times I've ever run into goblins have seemed to be in forests or swamp battles. It's never been a line battle with the goblin army, which makes me nervous because if that's going to be the only way I fight them, I can almost guarantee I'm going to lose every single time. I have not won a fight against the goblins yet, just so you guys know. Um, I made it to... Wow, there's so many places. I've made it to, I want to say, probably like day 21. That's about as far as I got, and then I would get wiped out. And I think I still have that game saved, so I haven't actually run into the goblins yet on that side. 
But yeah, I was like, all right, goblin battle. Oh my gosh, it hurts so bad. They have a lot of ranged weapons. They have the ability to poison you. I mean, it's nasty. Remember that? I used a dog net, didn't I? Pretty sure I did. I threw a dog net on somebody in the first battle. All right, let's, uh... We made it here. We got a little bit of cash money. That's sweet, sweet, nice. Um, they have the nets. It's all sorts of just nasty. You really don't want to deal with it at all. All right, we have Eggle Good Hand that we can pick up. Or we have a Lumberjack. He seems pretty exciting. Um, I don't really want any of these people either. I kind of want another ranged unit. I feel like we're pretty light on the ranged people right now. I don't know why I clicked on that again. All right, let's go over here. Protect the caravan. Where is it going? Oh, for 1900. Yeah, no, no. Mm -mm. As much as I would love it, I don't see there being a way of us surviving long enough to do whatever it is that they want us to do. We'll grab our sea elves a little bit more in the way of tools. Our food's a little low. We'll grab a little bit more of that, and our medicinal supplies are actually okay. I would grab up some more ammo if I had it, but I do not. So we're gonna sell that off. Um. I think that's all we're going to sell for now. I guess I can grab another person. Uh, let's see. How close are we? Oh, we're actually about out of time. Um, maybe I'll grab another person and I'll name him in the next episode. How's that? And then we're going to still look for another guy. Alright, we're going to go with... Oh, that's, that's super risky. We don't have enough money. Uh, I'm still going to do it. We're going to hire Robert the Lumberjack. And what we're going to do now, before we leave this place, we're going to read the origin story of the first four of our battle brothers, and then we're going to break off the episode. In the next episode, we'll rename Robert into the next individual, and we will re or we'll read the origin stories of the last four individuals. Robert has determined. So a lot of confident people joining this squad, so I like that. All right, let's read what Antros has. He is a companion. Antros is not known to be a big talker, but he has every right to be. He saved the lives of both uh, Ulfert, Ulfert and Halston, which I guess is what these two guys used to be called. Shame on them. They they fixed most of the uh, background story. Found, found a small problem there. Uh, small problem with the, uh, the background story. Uh, get on it. Fix it now. No. It's just something to, to bring to your attention. So, if we change the name of the other campaign, uh, companions, campaigns, the other companions, shouldn't their names change in the background story of any of them? Ah, just, just a thought, just saying. Anyway, we'll move past that. Uh, with quick whirls and whips of his shield, the man's deflected, deflected all manner of mortal danger. Although rather quiet, you found Antros' place in a shield wall to be a rather indispensable. Emmertiel. Brooding and at times suicidal, sounds about right. <laughs> it's no surprise that Immertiel is frequently found diving into battle with nothing more than a large two-hander. A strong brute, you once saw Immertiel kill someone just on his backswing. He'll use any weapon you give him, but Immertiel has a proclivity towards those that can make... What is that? A calamitous ruin out of a man's body. Oh, that's a word I haven't seen ever. I don't think I've ever actually seen that word before. I've heard of it, but I've never seen it. Or I've heard it. I've probably even used Calamitous. Maybe. I don't know. Alright, Kjax. Applejax is one of the more talented marksmen you've encountered in your travels. So far, the only talented marksman. A poacher, a bowyer, and archer. The man's skills have gotten plenty of use. You suspect he readily accepted your offer for mercenary work just to say he's done it all. While he has a fondness for killing from afar, Kjax no slouch in close quarters combat. That's right, he can whip out a knife and stab a man at one pace. Seems less impressive than shooting a man at 50 paces. Just saying. Just saying. Alright, our farmhand here. Good old Comrade Rasko. A strong and an able farmhand, Comrade Rasko worked at the fields at every weather. Okay. Interesting. He lived a content life until a drought brought all surrounding farmsteads to their knees and he had to be let go. He collected his belongings and set out into the world. Alright folks, that's going to do it for episode 2. You got to see me run like a scared girl and then get forced into a fight that I really didn't want to take, yet I still won. And that's probably how you're going to see most of this develop until maybe I get to a place where I feel like I'm on firm footing, firm ground. We'll see though. 
We'll see. Either way, guys, that's going to do it. I will see you tomorrow with a little bit more Battle Brothers Season 4. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>